Okay, you ready? All right. Welcome everyone to the City of Middletown Planning Board for April the 3rd, 2024. Please stand for the Pledge, Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, we're going to do a little housekeeping first for our transcriptionist. We have one absent board member this evening, Miss Hewson, and we also have attending this evening uh, Richard Krogan, our planning board attorney. Uh, Sexto Martinez Jr. is our building inspector. Uh, also absent this evening would be uh, Theron Atkins, our fire inspector. Okay, we're going to proceed with our agenda. Uh, approval of March 6, 2024 minutes. I need a motion to approve. Mr. McCormick, I need a second. Mr. Brito, any discussion? Roll call. Mr. Madden? Yes. Mr. McCormick? Yes. Mr. Brito? Yes. Ms. Witt? Yes. Mr. Higby? Yes. And I vote yes. And before we go any further, let's let everyone know that anyone here for the first time this evening is considered a preliminary hearing and the planning board may or may not choose to act or vote on those applications tonight. So moving forward, we have 132 Wickham Avenue, which is a six month extension. I need a motion, Mr. McCormick. I need a second, Mr. Brito. Discussion. This is the first. This is, the first. This is their first one, as far as I know, yep. Roll call, Mr. Madden? Yes. Mr. McCormick? Yes. Mr. Brito? Yes. <clears throat> Excuse me, Ms. Witt? Yes. Mr. Higby? Yes. And I vote yes. Okay, first on our agenda. Next on the agenda is 243 West Main Street, Eating and Drinking, Place of Assembly, Grant Lee. Please step forward, sir. State your name for the record. Yeah, it's Grant Lee. And please tell us what you plan on doing. I'm sorry? Please tell us what you plan on doing. Oh, okay. Um, we're going to do uh, coffee roasting and then coffee serving uh, for special, you know, the specialty coffee. Okay, thank you. Ms. Tu, do we have the mailings? Yes. Then I'm going to open the public hearing. Ms. Tu, do we have anything in writing? Nothing. Anyone on the telephone? Okay, anyone from the public wishing to speak on this application, please step forward. I'll go to the board for any comments, questions, or concerns. Okay, I'll go back to the public another one more time. Anyone wishing to speak on this application, please step forward. Okay, I'm going to have a, I need a motion to close the public hearing. Mr. Brito, I need a second. Mr. McCormick. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So, I will go back to the board one more time for any questions, comments, or concerns. Nothing. All right. On the resolution for 243 West Main Street, eating and drinking establishment, <coughs> place of assembly. I need a motion. Ms. Witt, I need a second. Mr. Madden, discussion? Roll call. Mr. Madden? Yes. Mr. McCormick? Yes. Mr. Brito? Yes. Ms. Witt? Yes. And Mr. Higby? Yes. And I vote yes. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. I'm sorry, Ms. Witt, I didn't see your hand. <laughs> no problem. I'm just on the other Next on the agenda, Dory Shlomo, 67 to 73 Hanford Street, Kitchen Cabinets Manufacturing. Mr. Chairman, if you can put that at the end of the calendar, see if they show up. No problem. Next on the agenda, 8 to 10 East Main Street, eating and drinking establishment on the first and second floor and an event room on the third floor. Good evening. Please state Good your evening, name Mr. for the record. 
Good evening. Uh, my name is Jian Hu with uh, JH Architecture. Good evening, uh, Chairman and Board members. Uh, this project is existing th uh, three-story uh, building, and the ground floor uh, is a supermarket uh, four floor. Our uh, plan is to uh, reduce the uh, existing supermarket on the ground floor and get ha almost half of the size to be renovated into a seafood uh, restaurant on the ground floor. Second floor, uh, we plan to change to a uh, Mongolia restaurant, restaurant two. The third floor will be events room. So existing situation, second floor is uh, some office, existing offices. Third floor is uh, uh, unfinished situation, uh, un non-occupied. So in our new building proposed to have all story uh, redo the uh, three stars, all three stories with sprinkler system. We, and we plan to add one more uh, egress stair on the uh, left hand side here and the, uh, with the ADA elevator. So um, with new sprinkler system, with new staircase, egress staircase, and the new elevator will be in plan. Um, total square footage is for this renovation is uh, 13,972 square foot. Um, that's about this project. I'll give back to Chairman for questions. Thank you. Ms. Tu, do we have the mailings? Then I'm going to uh, open the public hearing. Ms. Tu, do we have anything in writing? Do we have anybody in the telephone? Okay, I'm going to go to the public. Anyone wishing to spe speak on this application, please step forward. I'm going to go to the board for any questions, comments, or concerns. Mr. Madden? Will these restaurants have rear access to or just access off of East Main Street? Since we add one more egress stair uh, on the left, so we have two egress stairs access on. And Both on East Main Street. So we don't need a rear egress anymore. What about deliveries? Uh, good question. Delivery, uh, we're talking about, I mean, the client talking about with a supermarket. So loading from the back supermarket, they share some loading area. Stairs and elevator. So then there would be access for the deliveries from the rear going into the restaurants? Yes, for now, yes. Thank you. Is that the design of the facade, all windows? Yes, that's party? proposed uh, to in more engagement with the pedestrian uh, people. That means more transparency. That uh, hopefully has more, you know, att more attractive looking. Um, so we submit application to the um, to Maria for uh, because we need also need approval from federal level, a uh, state level. So that's in the process. It's not finalized, but that's the intent. We try to get more transparency uh, for the downtown area. You had a discussion with Theron, I believe, about adding the staircase and adding elevator. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, we walked through the whole building, and uh, we definitely were uh, install uh, three stories for through the building, a uh, sprinkler system through the building. And also, we're talking about the egress issues. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? Anyone from the public wishing to speak on this application? Again, please step forward. Then I'm going to need a motion to close the public hearing. Mr. Brito, I need a second. Mr. Madden, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Public hearing closed. Go back to the board one more time for any questions, comments, or concerns. I, I just wanted to clarify, you cannot access this from the supermarket, right? You're only getting deliveries from... Yes. Okay. The main access definitely from the front here. You can see the main entrance here with a, a new canopy. And the uh, new elevator and the stair is here for vertical circulation. Does that mean that the supermarket will only be accessed from the rear? Yes. Okay for regular patrons or for just deliveries? Uh, back entrance for only deliveries for restaurants. The 
guests coming from the frontage of the main street okay. market. Okay, so there's not two separate entrances, one for the supermarket and one for the other floors of your restaurant. It's one entrance. Yes, one entrance, yes. I think that's confused. The supermarket, the supermarket entrance for everything will be in the back. Because of parking at the back, so uh, people going to the supermarket from the back parking area. Okay. Parking lot, I mean. Is everyone clear? Okay. Alrighty. On the motion, or excuse me, on the resolution for 8 to 10 East Main Street, eating and drinking establishment on the first and second floor, in an event room on the third floor. I need a motion. Mr. Madden, I need a second. Mr. Brito. Discussion. Roll call. Mr. Madden? Yes. Mr. McCormick? Yes. Mr. Brito? Yes. Ms. Whip? Yes. Ms. Mr. Higby? Yes. And I vote yes. Thank Second. you. In the resolution, everything is taken care of as yep. far as, yep. sure and, the, and the architectural review board too is also in there. Thank yep, you. no problem. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Get your permits and everything else from the DPW. Okay. I have another job uh, project coming, so I just wait. You do? Uh, okay, you know what? You're up next. Okay. Stay right there. <laughs> okay. I'm glad you're paying attention. All right, next on the agenda is 9 to 29 Canal Street, Phase 1 Hotel. You have to announce your name again and no problem. Okay. My name is Jian Hu with GH Architecture. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, this project is the biggest historic building uh, in downtown area. With a, it's a mansory building with a mansard roof style. Uh, the client uh, plan to renovate that into a boutique, boutique hotel with 95 rooms, guest rooms. Uh, existing building has a uh, three-story plus basement and attic, air, uh, attic space. Uh, so basically the ground floor, this is a, this is a site plan. You can see the new hotel, proposed hotel, new entrance is coming from, from here with a big canopy on here. And another entrance here is for commercial entrance which separate this pink line, separate phase one and phase two. Uh, for this turn, our application focus on the phase one hotel only. Phase two will be commercial use with some restaurant or in the future, not for this, not for tonight. Tonight we focus on this phase one hotel only. Uh, so basically the ground floor is, if you see our ground floor plan, we submit is uh, hotel lobby, uh, restaurant, hotel restaurant, uh, ballroom, uh, pre-function room, kitchen, and then some guest rooms. Of course, lobby, uh, lounge area. That's for ground floor we proposed function for. Uh, second floor, the program mainly is the guest rooms uh, and the gym and the services. And the third floor is same thing. Uh, most of third floor is uh, uh, guest rooms. Uh, plus uh, some services like a private meeting spaces. So that basically that's a program for this boutique hotel and uh, we're already in the process of uh, talking details with uh, Marriott and the other upscale um, hotel uh, consultants. So uh, for the purpose of getting financial and uh, franchise we need to uh, uh, apply for get a planning board approval for this, for, for phase one. So basically that's this project and the total square footage is, we are talking about 134,000 square foot. That's a total square footage for this whole building. Okay. Uh, we, we try to use all existing staircase for egress use. And you can see here the back side, we have the, uh, we plan to have egress from the backyard too. So that's about this project. Thank you. Ms. Tu, do we have the mailings? Yes. And I'm going to open the public hearing. Ms. Tu, do we have uh, anything in writing? Anything, anyone on the telephone? 
We're going to go to the public. Anyone wishing to speak on this application, please step forward. Okay, we'll go to the board for any comments, questions, or concerns. Ms. Witt. Uh, so forgive me, so the first time this uh, proposal came forward, um, they were going to be using the parking down the street um, where ACME was, right? Wasn't that, what, is that still the plan for this? So everything is, is staying the same as far as? Yes. All of that. They thank own you. the parking also. Okay, yeah. thank you. Is there access to the parking? It's not north, but that area, that parking over that's, there by the? Yes, that's Eastman from here, can access from the back, back area. Is there a plan to develop that to make it appealing to walk towards South Street and toward the Paramount Pe Theater? Pedestrian, pedestrian access, yes. Landscaping, yes. You said that the entire project was 134,000 square feet? Yes, in including phase, phase one and phase two. I'm sorry? Including phase one and phase so two. So how big is phase one, approximately? 92,000. Yeah. So it's the majority of the property. Yes, correct. <clears throat> yes, 92,250 square foot. That's on the uh, EVOC first floor plan that's listed there. And is there any proposal for use of the basement? Because that's Yes, that there. will be phase two, but for commercial use, that Thank means you. potential use for a restaurant or some other commercial use. And there was a question where the dividing line, where the hotel was, phase one, phase two, and we made a determination, but that will be further defined by the fire department to make sure there's enough egress, elevators, the whole nine yards. Okay, I will go back to the public. Anyone wishing to speak on this application, please step forward. Okay, I'm going to ask for a motion to close the public hearing. Mr. Brito, I need a second. Ms. Witt, all in favor? Aye. Public hearing is closed. I will go back to the board one more time for any comments, questions, or concerns. I believe uh, the applicant is now seeking alcohol to be served and also the city would need to grant an easement for the fire truck for the ladder through the courthouse. Uh, that was not included on the original resolution, so the resolution will need to be amended. Right, so we're gonna go through the process to put the amendment in. Mr. McCormick, watch over me. <laughs> okay, first of all, I need a motion to put the resolution Four, 9 to 29 Canal Street, Phase 1 Hotel. I need a motion to deal with it because we have to get it on the floor before we can amend it. So I have a motion for Mr. Brito. I have a second for Mr. Higby that puts the resolution on the floor. Okay. At this point in time, I'm going to add the uh, amendment language, and that will be that um, the Phase 1 Hotel, including Banquet Hall, and restaurant with full liquor license on a portion of the first, second, and third floor of the premise located at 9 to 29 Canal Street. And there also will be an easement for the city. The city to provide easement for courthouse for the ladder truck access. The city will grant this easement once the project is commenced. That is the amendment. I need to have a motion to accept the amendment. Mr. McCormick, a second. Mr. Berto, I need to vote on that amendment now. Um, before we vote on a discussion, yep. uh, a question. When you say a portion of first, second, and third floor, what about for room service of serving liquor to a room? All I'm doing is including the entire hotel phase one. Okay. That's the way it was written in the resolution. I was just trying to follow through on that. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right, so any further discussion? Uh, roll call. Mr. Madden? Yes. Mr. McCormick? Yes. Mr. Brito? Yes. Ms. Witt? Yes. Mr. Higby? Yes. I vote yes. So now we can move forward 
and vote on the amended resolution <coughs> as a whole. I need a motion to accept the resolution. Mr. Brito, second Ms. Whip. Discussion. Roll call. Mr. Madden. Yes. Mr. McCormick. Yes. Mr. Brito. Yes. Ms. Whip. Yes. Mr. Higby. Yes. And I vote yes. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Next on the agenda this evening is Green Eastern Inc., 36 to 36 and a half Walk Hill Avenue, a beauty salon with accessory retail. Good evening. Please state your name for the record. It's Winnie C. And what do you plan on doing? Winnie, Winnie, and it's um, the translator, Jonathan Lee. Thank you, Jonathan. Uh, I, I plan to, um, um, to do the uh, beauty salon here and is uh, owner operate. Yeah. Okay. And you plan to have accessory retail supplies, right? Mm -hmm. For the beauty uh, salon. Associated sales, beauty salon sales. Yes. Correct. All right. All right. Um, Ms. Two, do we have the mailings? I'm going to open the public hearing. Uh, Ms. Two, do we have anything in writing? Anyone on the telephone? Then I'm going to open it up to the public. Anyone wishing to speak on this application, please step forward. Okay, that being said, I'll move on to the board. <clears throat> Anyone have any questions, comments, or concerns? Mr. Higby. Um, I, I don't know if everybody's, my, my application is kind of blank. There's no hours of operations. There's no owner's endorsement. There's no, so I, I just want to make, you know, I don't know what your hours of operation are going to be. And do we have an owner's endorsement? And well, she's, the, she's the owner. <laughs> oh, she's the owner. Okay. Well, now she lives up the, on the second floor and okay. she wants to operate the downstairs. As a Great. And what are her hours of operation? Eight to eight. Eight to nine. Eight to nine. Eight to nine. Just, just a moment, and I'll get out the resolution specifically for this property. According to the resolution, it's uh, hours of operation are Monday through Friday, eight a.m. to nine p.m. Okay. Did you have, what was your other question, Mr. Uh, she answered it. About the words that she owns it. She owns it. Okay. Fine. All right. Anyone else from the board? I'll go back to the public hearing. Anyone from the public wishing to speak on this application, please step forward. I'm going to ask for a motion to close the public hearing. Mr. Brito, second. Ms. Whip. All in favor? Aye. Okay, public hearing is closed. I'll go back to the board one more time. Any questions, comments, or concerns? Okay. On the resolution for Green Eastern Inc. 36 to 36 and a half Walk Hill Avenue, a beauty salon with accessory retail associated with the beauty salon. I need a motion. Mr. Brito, I need a second. Mr. McCormick, discussion. Roll call. Mr. Madden. Yes. Mr. McCormick. Yes. Mr. Brito. Yes. Ms. Witt. Yes. Mr. Higby. Yes. And I vote yes. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, next on the agenda is Stephen Van Ostrand, 23 West Main Street, Cigar Shop. Okay. If you could put that at the back. Okay, we have two at the back. All right, next up is 128 Wickham Avenue, International Express Courier Office, Zully L. Zitun Ramos. Good evening. Hi. Please state your name for the record. So I'm going to be the interpreter. Sure. I'm Kevin, Kevin Corrello, and right. she's Sully. All right. All right. And what is... Tell us what you're going to do. What's your All right, plan? it's going to be uh, like, um, uh, it's, it's going to be a store that she's going to be sending packages to uh, our country, like um, shoes or, or 
we're going to receive packages as well. Okay. So that's that's going to be the store for. Ready? All right. Let me. Uh, Ms. Two, do we have the mailings? I'm going to open the public hearing. Ms. Two, do we have anything in writing? Anyone on the telephone? I open it up to the public. Anyone wishing to speak on this application, please step forward. I'll move to the board for any questions, comments, or concerns. Yes, Mr. McCormick. Are you just shipping packages to and from Guatemala? Is that the way I'm reading this correctly? Yeah, we're going to ship and we're going to receive packages. Is there a reason why you wouldn't expand it to other shipping areas? or We, are, we have a store in Spring Valley, New York for 20, more than 20 years. So we're working on that for tw more than 20 years. So just from our country people, we work. Okay, thank you. And with you being closed on Monday, you don't receive packages? Uh, actually, in that store, we open seven days, like every day, every day. But in this is new place that we're going to figure out because we know we have a lot of people that from, from Guatemala here. So we're going to start working. If everything go well, uh, good, for Monday. we're going to Monday, Monday to uh, like seven days. You'll have to come back to the board if and you want to open up longer. It's not a problem. Yeah, it's not a problem. All righty, uh, I'll go back to the public. Anyone wishing to speak on this application, please step forward. No one coming forward. I'll ask for a motion to close the public hearing. Mr. Brito, Ms. Witt, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Public hearing's closed. <laughs> okay, all right, on the resolution for Zoli L. Chitan Ramos, 128 Wickham Avenue, International Express Courier Office. I need a motion for the resolution, Mr. Madden. I need a second, Mr. Brito. Uh, discussion? Roll call. Mr. Madden? Yes. Mr. McCormick? Yes. Mr. Brito? Yes. Ms. Whip? Yes. Mr. Higby? Yes. And I vote yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good night. You too. Next on the agenda. Ashley Teresi, 76 to 86 Dolson Avenue, flower truck, temporary business, movable structure. Yes. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Hello. State your name for the record. My name is Ashley Teresi Bodish. And what do you plan on doing? I plan on bringing a flower, tr well, a truck and trailer, um, a portable truck and trailer to Tire Discounts parking lot on weekends come May and selling flowers out of it. Okay. I'm going to... Open the. Excuse me, Miss Two. Do we have the mailings? Okay, I'm going to open the public hearing. Do we have anything in writing? Do we have anything in the telephone? I'm going to go to the public. Anyone wishing to speak on this application, please step forward. Okay, I'm going to go to the board for any questions, comments, or concerns. The truck or the. Uh, bed, flower bed, however you're going to do it. Are you going to keep it there over the weekend or are you carting it away every day? Or carting on it the away weekend? every day. So on the weekend, you'll drive it there and then after you're done, you're going to put it, hook it back up and leave with it. Yes. Saturday, we'll leave with it, bring it back Sunday morning and leave with it again. So nothing will be staying there permanently. Okay. Thank you. Also in the resolution is stated that if for some reason you can't move it, or you have to take it to the back of the lot. Well, then we could get our tire changed right in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm if sorry, that's the only lot, issue. Oh, okay. But if that's the only issue. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> okay, Ms. Teresi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's fine. You know the parameters. Yes. Don't go beyond tire discount. Keep everything in line. So Absolutely. that it looks like Dolson Avenue all nice and straight. Okay? We'll make it look nice, I promise. Thank you. We appreciate that. Um, Yes, Mr. McCormick. What's the name of your business? Teresi's. <laughs> Creative. Thank you. Thank you. Very catchy. Anyway. I, I just have a quick question. Sure. Um, have you thought about expanding to the farmer's market in Middletown? Actually, we you have. Were, you know, going to be doing in Middletown. Yeah. Yes, we have looked into it. The only thing, our main um, selling season is May. Um, it usually winds down if we do have overflow. But I am looking into it, the farmer's market come fall when we have mums and that kind of stuff. 
Yep. Okay. Hey, Mr. Madden? Focusing on annuals, perennials, houseplants? Mostly annuals and vegetables and herbs. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to go back to the public hearing. Anyone from the public wishing to speak on this application, please step forward. All right. Uh, I need a motion to close the public hearing. Mr. Madden, I need a second. Mr. Higby, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Public hearing is closed. I'll go back to the board one more time. Questions, comments, or concerns? Okay. On the resolution for Ashley Teresi, 76 to 86 Dolson Avenue, flower truck, temporary business, movable structure. I need a motion. Mr. Higby, I need a second. Mr. Madden, discussion. Roll call. Mr. Madden? Yes. Mr. McCormick? Yes. Mr. Brito? Yes. Ms. Witt? Yes. Mr. Higby? Yes. And I vote yes. Good Thank luck. you very much. Have a good night, everybody. You too. You too. All right. Second call, Dory Shalamo, 67 to 73 Hanford Street, Kitchen Cabinets Manufacturing. Good evening, sir. Good evening. I'm Dory Shalamo. Thanks. State your name for the record. Thank yeah, you. And what you plan on doing? Uh, we are a uh, kitchen manufacturer for... Uh, the five boroughs, we move in from Long Island to here. Very basic. Alrighty. Uh, Ms. Two, do we have the mailings? Okay. And, uh, okay, have the mailings. We're open to public hearing. Anyone present, please step forward to comment on this application. And while the public hearing is open, before I go to the board, we did receive an email uh, from Dingna. Roll Dion. And it says, I do not support the approval of the building located at 67 to 73 Hanford Street for kitchen cabinets because there will be a lot of noise, dust, and too much traffic. That's read into the record. Okay. You'll have a chance. Okay. Um, go to the board for any questions, comments, or concerns. What hours would you have deliveries? So we walk in on Monday to Friday, uh, 8 to 5. Um, we usually get delivery once a week because the facility is big enough. Um, we get in a truck, regular truck, no, no semi trailer or something like that. We have a forklift, 10 minutes, the guy is out. And the property is big enough, so the truck is inside the property. We're not like staying on the street, if you're familiar with the building. Uh, it's all the way down, so then you don't even see it from the street. I don't see how it's bothered to somebody. Very simple. I assume since you're going to be doing some wood cutting, you're going to have the proper dust control within the building? Correct, yes. We okay. have a big unit inside or indoor. Everything from the old facility that was approved by the Island. Okay. Be yeah, it's, it's not un uncommon. We had a uh, concrete vault company there at one time. Limited, de limited deliveries, such as yourself. So just be a good neighbor. Yeah. Trying to win business to the town. Uh, okay, hours of operation were 8 to 5. Okay, any other questions, board members? I'll go back to the public hearing. Anyone present wishing to speak on this application, please step forward. I uh, need a motion to close the public hearing. Mr. Brito, second Mr. Higby. All in favor? Aye. Public hearing has been closed. Go to the board one more time for any questions, comments, or concerns. Okay, none being had. We will move on to the resolution for 67 to 73 Hanford Street, Kitchen Cabinets Manufacturing. I do have to amend this resolution also, only because the gentleman has just given us a check today. So, not casting any aspersions, but we have to make sure the check clears and we're ready. We have to put that in the resolution. So if it doesn't clear, you have to come back. All right? It's a formality. Okay? So, on this resolution for, uh, I'm, I'm, pardon me, on the resolution for 67 to 73 Hanford Street, Kitchen Cabinets Manufacturing, I need a motion and a second to get it on the floor. Motion by Mr. Madden, second by Mr. Brito. Uh, the resolution is on the floor. And now the amendment will be uh, the, it's just a matter of collection, correct? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's just subject. We're going to add to the resolution. It's subject to collection. We just received a check, so we just want to make sure that the check clears. That's the resolution, the amendment to the resolution. So I need a motion to amend the resolution. Mr. Ms. Witt, Mr. Brito. I need a uh, well, discussion on that. No. Okay. I need roll call. Mr. Madden. Yes. Mr. McCormick. Yes. Mr. Brito. Yes. Ms. Witt. Yes. Mr. Higby. Yes. And I vote yes. So now we're going to vote on the amended resolution as stated. I need or a motion. I need discussion. Pardon me? I need discussion on the amended resolution. We just had that. We just voted for the amendment. Right. Okay. So now I, have, I need a motion for the resolution amended. Mr. Madden, second Mr. Brito, any discussion? My, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> All right. Uh, no discussion. Roll call. Mr. Madden. Yes. Mr. McCormick. Yes. Mr. Brito. Yes. Ms. Witt. Yes. Mr. Higby. Yes. And I vote yes. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Okay. I like my conscience. <laughs> All right. Uh, last but not least, we have uh, Stephen Van Ostrand, 23 West Main Street, Cigar Shop. Last call. Okay, gentleman has not shown. All right. Motion to adjourn. Mr. Madden, Mr. Brito, all in favor? Aye. 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 So adjourned. <laughs>